Hi, today we are going to make Indian, North Indian vegetarian dishes. The dishes are Alu Nutrila Ki Sabzi and Alu Matar Ki Tehri, which is a rice preparation. So we start with a curry, which is basically Alu Soya Bean. Now what do we have in our, so we require the Soya Bean, the soya bean is here, we require potatoes. Now for making the curry, we require onions, chopped tomatoes, ginger garlic paste, and some Indian dry masalas comprising of turmeric powder, red chili powder, coriander powder, and cumin powder. So let's start cooking. First and foremost, when it heats up, we have to add the oil. Now the oil has to be perfumed with whole cumin seeds and whole garam masala comprising of cinnamon, cardamom, clove and bay leaf, that stage patta. So, but this has to come to the smoking point, which means when the oil is releasing the smoke. This is called tempering. Tempering means you are perfuming the oil. Yes. So it starts to crackle, which means that it is oozing out its flavor to the oil. Put the bay leaf, put some whole cumin seeds. It has to be cooked, but not burnt. After that, we have to add the onions and cook it till brown. So you add the chopped onions. Hold on, hold on. And you have to make it brown. As you see, the onions are turning brown and this is the time we have to add a paste which is comprising of ginger and garlic. So this ginger garlic has to be put here and it has to be cooked till the raw flavor of the ginger garlic paste goes off. So another couple of minutes and it will turn really brown. Why we are making it brown is that the color of the gravy will also come through this. A little bit more brown with just a few minutes away and we will add the ginger garlic paste. Add the ginger garlic paste. A little bit of hot water. There will be a tendency for the ginger garlic paste to stick, so we add a little bit of water. Now you are seeing that the ginger garlic has been cooked, the raw flavor has been, uh, has gone out. Now we will put the Indian dry masala. First we put a little bit of turmeric powder. Coriander powder. A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Then, Cumin powder, and lastly, red chili powder. Don't burn the masalas. Add water, but the water should be hot, and keep on cooking till the masalas are getting cooked. At this stage, we will also add chopped tomatoes. Now, when we add chopped tomatoes, 
we should also add salt because it will help the tomatoes to get cooked faster. Since potatoes will take a longer period of time, this is the perfect time to add the chopped, uh, diced potatoes. Why we have put the cut potatoes into the water is that potato tends to turn into brown color because of the oxidation process. Now we will cook this till the potato is soft as well as the masalas are cooked. As you see, the masalas are now cooked, well coated with the potatoes. The potatoes have been 75% cooked. Now is the time to add the soya beans. Now what have we done with the soya beans? Now we have boiled the soya beans in salt water and we have lightly sauteed or fried it to give it a crispy texture. So this we are now adding to the curry. We will now coat this with the masala and for the binding we will add some water. So now we will allow it to simmer. All the masalas will now coat with the potato and the soya bean and the curry will be ready. So the next step would be the finishing of the curry. Thank you. And get ready with the rice. So as you see here, the curry is now boiling, the potatoes have been cooked, right? So if you see here, the potatoes have been cooked, the soya bean has absorbed the curry and here we stop cooking it because after some time, the curry will be absorbed by the soya bean. So it is now ready to be cooked. Bon appetit. So we start with the rice preparation called Alu Matar Ki Tehri. And this is a dish from Uttar Pradesh. So we have the handi and we have the oil out here. First we'll put some whole garam masalas, tejpatta and cumin. Allow it to crackle, jeera. Stir it.
Next, we add the ginger chop. We add the ginger chop. Tomatoes. Now when we add the tomatoes, we have to add a little bit of salt so that the tomato gets cooked faster. Now we add the Indian dry masala, first the turmeric powder. Little bit more. Dhania powder. Jeera powder. And red chilli powder little bit. At this stage, we add the potatoes. We add the green peas, carrots and beans. And then the rice. Then we add the water which should be double the quantity of the rice. As you see, the water has come down, which means that the rice has absorbed the water, right? So now what we will do, we will put it under steam for the rest water, which is out here, to be absorbed. So what we do is, we put this here, cover it up like this, and then put it on a griddle. So we bring the griddle here, and we put it on top of the griddle for about 5 to 7 minutes which means that the rice will be now cooked under steam. We put some weight on top and finally we will show you how the rice looks up when the rice is cooked. So we have kept it on the steam or dum for 7 to 8 minutes. Then we have rested it for 5 minutes. And now let's see how the rice looks like. The absorption method of rice. So here you see,
the rice has been totally cooked the vegetables have been mixed with the rice and this tahri is now ready to be eaten right so we will now present this rice with the alu soya bean ki sabzi so our alu matar ki tahri is ready as well as alu soya bean ki sabzi so now we will be plating it so let's start plating so we take a bowl we smear it a little bit of oil or water and we put the rice inside it So this is a complete meal before it goes to the customer or the guest you just have to take it out So this is how we present it alu matar ki tahri and alu soya bean ki sabzi So this is the class which was taken here I hope you liked it thank you